Vasectomy is permanent birth control for men. This minor surgery prevents pregnancy by blocking sperm from getting to the penis. Millions of sperm cells are made every day in a man's testicles. Testicles are found in the scrotum, which is the pouch of loose skin below the penis. New sperm grow all of the time, every day. The sperm mature in the epididymis, a small structure that is on top of each testicle. During sexual intercourse, the sperm move with ejaculation during orgasm through long muscular tubes called the vas deferens to the penis. On the way to the penis, the sperm mix with a whitish fluid called seminal fluid. This is made by the seminal vesicles. The mixture of sperm and seminal fluid is called semen. Semen is released by the penis with ejaculation. Vasectomy is a simple, safe procedure that makes a man sterile, unable to father a child, by cutting and sealing the vas deferens tubes. It is permanent and intended to last forever. It is the most effective birth control method there is. No other birth control prevents pregnancy as well, except abstinence, which means no sex. It does not protect against sexually transmitted disease. Vasectomy should not lower your libido, which is your desire to have sex. Your erection, sexual function, and orgasm should not change. In fact, some men are more relaxed because they are not worried about the risk of getting a woman pregnant. The amount and color of your semen will seem the same as before. Finally, urination, the way you pass urine, will be the same. Sperm that are still produced but are now fully blocked are absorbed or taken up by the body. You or your partner must use a second type of birth control for the first three months after your vasectomy because you will not be sterile right away. It takes time and several ejaculations to empty the sperm from the tubes. There is risk of pregnancy until your semen is tested at three months and shows no more sperm. You will collect the semen sample for testing. Vasectomy is intended to be permanent and it is not always possible to reverse a vasectomy. Surgery to stitch the tubes back together is not easy and doesn't always work. Vasectomy reversal is very expensive and it is not usually covered by insurance. Before your vasectomy, consider the possible situations where you might wish to have more children. Although vasectomy is considered very safe, all surgeries have risks. All men will have some soreness and bruising for a few days. Risks include infection and bleeding of the scrotum. You may get a sperm granuloma, a small harmless lump where the tube was tied. You may also regret the vasectomy. Up to one in five men, or 20%, change their mind later in life. To prevent these problems, Follow your doctor's instructions carefully. Less common risks of vasectomy include One of 1,600 men will still have sperm at three months because the tubes reconnect by recanalization. There is a risk of chronic pain near the testicles. While most men feel back to normal after seven to 10 days, for one in 400 men, pain can last several weeks or longer.
It can even be permanent. Sometimes another procedure, even a vasectomy reversal, is needed to fix the pain. Finally, a few studies have shown there may be a small increased risk of prostate cancer. There are other studies that do not show this. Most urologists believe that vasectomy does not cause prostate cancer. Be sure to discuss these risks with your doctor if you have any questions or concerns. You can help lower risk of the procedure. Follow care instructions before and after the procedure. Use condoms or another type of birth control until a semen test shows that all of the sperm are gone, usually at three months. To begin the vasectomy, your scrotum will be cleaned with antiseptic. Your surgeon will numb the scrotum with an injection of local anesthetic. You will feel a sting and burn that lasts only a few seconds. A classic way for a surgeon to do a vasectomy is to make two small incisions, one cut over each vas deferens tube. Next, the tubes are cut and then tied, clipped or sealed. And the incisions are closed. Surgeons now commonly use one small opening to tie both tubes. This is called the non-scalpel method. For this type of vasectomy, the surgeon makes one small opening to reach both tubes. First, one vas deferens is gently lifted through the opening. You may feel some pulling and discomfort, but it should not be painful. The tube is sealed with ties, clips, or heat, and the tube is cut. The surgeon then lifts the other tube and repeats the sealing and cutting. Sometimes a second hole is needed to reach the other tube. The opening may or may not need a stitch to close. After your vasectomy, it is normal for you to have bruising and swelling for one to two weeks. You may have some bloody drainage from where the tubes were tied and you will have some discomfort that you can manage with ice, rest, and medication. Help your pain and swelling by using an ice pack wrapped in a towel on your lap or under your scrotum. Do not put the ice directly against your skin. You may use acetaminophen, ibuprofen, or other pain medication as recommended by your physician. You can help avoid problems by following your doctor's instructions. The first two days, rest as much as possible. Keep your scrotum lifted by lying down on the sofa or bed and wearing an athletic supporter or snug cotton underwear. And keep the area dry for two days. Continue to take it easy and use support as you heal. For seven days after the procedure, do not have sex, swim, or use a hot tub. And do not lift heavy objects or exercise. Finally, call your doctor if you experience fever, worsening pain not relieved by ice and the medication prescribed. And remember to use a second form of birth control, such as condoms, until your lab test shows that all of your sperm have cleared for about three months.